Right, uh, good morning. Good morning. So we're back at Fygate then. First of May. First of, first of May. And we're Neil and Jan. Yes. This is our channel, Neil and Jan Resellers. Neil and Jan Resellers. We always forget to say I'm that a bit, bit slow this morning. <laughs> I just feel a bit kind of... I mean, it's nice, the sun's out. Um, but anyway, welcome to our channel. Yeah. Go on. No, you, you can't talk. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Phil. Everybody's supposed to say welcome to my channel at the beginning, oh, aren't they? I oh, always do it on my channel. Okay. And you yes, always miss right. it out on this welcome one. Welcome to so. the channel. If so you, welcome. If you do like uh, uh, watching car boot sales and reselling and uh, eBay stuff, then do and consider we're, subscribing. We're very new to reselling, so we're just learning our way around it. Yeah. It's the difference between buying junk that's fit for the bin and buying junk that's <laughs> fit for car boot sale and buying junk that we can sell. Yeah. So, and um, finding the treasures amongst it all. This morning at, uh, at Fago, it is, uh, it's just beautifully sunny. Just before eight o'clock. Sun right in my And eyes. just to let you know, that Fago, they do actually queue up, queue up which is really cool. But we come to the front because uh, I'm disabled and I've got a badge and we had to interrupt the whole queue just to park so Neil had a big audience and he went to swing the car in and, and the parking guy said, no, no, reverse him, it would yeah. be easier. <laughs> so everybody then had to move and get out the way. And because they, just they were all of... only just got up first thing in the morning, they didn't know what was going on, they were all walking in the wrong direction. Yeah, it doesn't actually say, oh it does say disabled parking yeah. here actually. Um, so anyway, um, that's our little intro. I uh, hope you enjoy our walk round. Um, don't forget there's probably a second film to this we no we're normally now doing. Well, with any luck there'll be a show and tell afterwards. With any luck there'll be a show and tell. Um, <laughs> if it's a bad morning. Oh, well, just... yes. So watch out for the second film and uh, and hope you enjoy our walk round. And, uh, see you later. See you a bit. Can I climb down, Luke? Thank you. Can I climb down, Can we go that way? Okay, so we're literally heading to our first table. And uh, straight away I can see that there's a Wii console there. Excuse me? What are you asking for this uh, 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 the console? Thirty. The Wii consoles that I normally see are white, so a black one. Um, Looks like a quite a smart box. A lot of them aren't. When you say thirty, you mean for the, all the games as well, the whole, yeah, the whole lot. Literally everything. Uh, the only thing we never bought was the board. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. So for thirty um, pounds, take it. Take it. You want? Hey, uh, I'll take it. Straight back to the thing. Uh, I'll take it. You want your box? Brilliant. Uh, Right, so I get all the stuff in the box as well, which is absolutely brilliant. There you go. First table, £30, pounds, and I'm going straight back to the car. Right. Oh, thank you. Here. Even brilliant. get the lid. Straight off to the car again. Oh, there you are. Well, that's 30 quid gone. Are you? Yeah, are we? Yeah. My goodness. Oh, nice. Can you put those jigsaws in there? Come back jigsaws, and Jan's bought the yeah. some jigsaws and some meerkats. How much were they? Two pounds each. Nice. And then how much was that? Two pounds. They're very collectible, aren't they? So is that from these ladies? Yeah. So just having a quick look round on that on their table to see if there's anything else that uh, I kind of fancied. Uh, obviously uh, Jan's just had some good bargains and I've just had the wee from them. So I thought I'd just check out yes, and make sir. sure what else was on that table. Mm -hmm. 
How much are you after for the hub? How much? 50. 50, yeah, I don't blame you. So the 50, you can't actually see it behind the books, but, but there's actually I mean, a Google Hub, I think it is. Uh, normally about £80, pounds, apparently, yeah. and they're after 50. Um, it's actually still <laughs> sealed. I haven't got a clue what they are, brand new, to be honest. Are they? Well, you can try it here, take it home if you don't get what you're after. Thank you very much. So, what a brilliant first table. Yes, yeah, so I've got a, a new, I've got a pretty good looking Wii. Actually, I didn't even open the box. Check it, it just looked like. Uh, so, I've got a Wii box and a load of games. Should have checked it more, probably, but. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, do you want the bags back or? Um, no, leave it. No, okay. I'm back off to the car already to take Jan's stuff, mm. which is brilliant. So Jan's walked on ahead a little bit. I'm just checking out these stalls. Ooh, Can see some electronics over here, possibly some cameras, maybe some binoculars. Um, just gonna have a quick look. Mm. <laughs> some binoculars over there, but. I'm not even going to open the case. I think they're about the kind of thing that's about 15 quid um, each. I'm not really looking for the, uh, the, that kind of binoculars. Um, I'm just skipping past some of these stalls here. Uh, there's not a great deal there and it's not my kind of stuff. Um, I'm not really looking for trader stuff. And I catch back up with Jan. So I think what I think I got a special edition kind of we it's in a black box they're normally in white boxes and I think it already has the sports with it and stuff so I got that for 30 so uh, down that one from here to that one yeah this car boot cell it is again it's kind of operating a one-way system so I've got this annoying habit of kind of humming as I kind of go around doing stuff and it's only being on camera that allows me to notice that kind of thing, it's, it's quite annoying. Second one. Just spotted another meerkat there. I've got that one. I've just bought that one already. I don't know what they go for though. Do you want that one? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll ask how much. Uh, I'm going to give that one a go and uh, have a look. But the lady is busy chatting to this other lady and. Uh, um, what? Are you working at all? Just no, just furloughed since uh, Excuse me? March last year, or April, wasn't it? April the 4th. Yes, dear. How much are you asking for the toy? For the meerkat? Yeah. What do you want for the meerkat? Three quid? Three. Would you take two? No. Yeah, I can give you the change. I've got, I've got some money in my pocket as well. Yeah. <laughs> Would you take two pounds for it? Two fifty, and he's yours. All right, two fifty. My husband should go mad. He's going to go mad. Yeah, because I often see your name come up on, um, say, Paul Beer's post or something like that. I love Paul, don't you? Yeah, walking with him. He just makes it. So there we go. I've got the meerkat. However, I've paid two pounds fifty. Uh, without a box, and uh, and Chan got hers for two pounds with the box. So I think I obviously overpaid, or Jan just got a really, really good deal. What's that? 
Is it books or? So this is a, a Beatrix Potter Ludo. Ludo. Now, Ludo's a game, and a game? I actually still Beatrix don't even know what Ludo is. What actually is it? Ludo game. Just a Ludo game. Just a Ludo game. Alright. Never seen one. I was asking a tenner, darling, yeah, but you can offer me less than that if you want. Nice pretty lady, you want to say? For four, ten pounds. Not paying ten quid for a game that I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Well, I got the uh, I got the little toy for two pound fifty. Oh, okay, I only paid two pounds for mine. Oh, you did very well. Three for six. I'm sure it is. What have we got in here? Well, points for seven or what? So we've got a printer here, didn't see any printer ink or anything there with it. Um, it would have been interesting. Sorry. There's a whole load of boots here and um, this person looks like some kind of trader. The amount of boots there. Um, the price is, there's not going to be any bargains there, I don't think. No. So, Jan just spots uh, some books there, but behind it is a game that's a game, whatever that sealed. Is. You might have seen last week I got a whole load of books on massage and uh, stuff like that which I think are good. Um, however, I'm not sure about these books here. Yeah. Excuse me? Yes. How much you ask for the game? For the game, three. Three pounds. It's good fun. Is it? What is it? Yeah, actually. Speak out. You have to try and talk or sing with the things in your mouth. It's hilarious. We got given two for Christmas. Would you take two fifty? Yeah. And um, how much? Uh, how much are your books, sir? Um, it depends which ones you want. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Put that in the bag first. So this uh, game is a bizarre idea. I mean, maybe other people know all about it, but the idea of sticking something in your mouth so it sounds really silly when you say it. Um, we'll give it a go. I mean, it's completely sealed, so uh, we'll give it a little go. Books on nursing. No, actually, I'm going to leave the books out. They're, all, they're okay, but the, they're also not amazing quality. Um, Actually, how much for something like that? Uh, 150. 150. Yeah. I just don't know how much these books cost. They don't uh, look overly expensive. No. I think I'll let somebody else. Okay, thank you very much. Again, just going to have a quick whiz through some of these, um, just catching up with Jan. There was nothing really that I thought, oh yeah, I really must have a quick look at that. Um, there was some quite empty kind of spaces to, to go through.
There was nothing that popped out, you know, as you're walking along, there was nothing that, oh, I really must look at that, really must look at this, um, on those ones. So, uh, just continue looking through. I got the game for £2.50. Well, you can't go too far wrong on uh, sealed. Trouble is, there's so so many different types of stuff that could be interesting, could be good, um, but it all comes down to knowledge or of um, of what prices to buy things for, how quickly they're going to move, and stuff like that. Just having a look, there's a whole load of DVDs here. Um, so as I've just bought a Wii, I thought I would check if there was any Wii games or anything amongst them. Looking at the shoes there, just was there anything that, that stands out that's that could be worth reselling? What's that, sorry? Yeah. Oh, but right there. Jan's just spotted a Guitar Hero guitar uh, back there, which I completely walked past and missed. Uh, let's have a look at that. They are player guitar. Yeah. That one works. You know, it's got right. music in it. This one goes with a Wii or um, N Nintendo or something. Oh, right. The thing I don't know about this is I don't know how that connects to a console. How much you uh, how much you asking for that? Three. It's all in perfect condition. Would you take two? I'll do two fifty. See what I've got. It's worth giving a try, uh, giving a go. Um, so uh, two pound fifty. We'll try that. So that's two pound fifty um, experiment. Yeah, I have heard that there's some money in it, but I don't know. We've never done that, have we? So we've well, got to take these little experiments sometimes, haven't you? I'm doing that annoying humming thing again, sorry about that guys. I'm just going to have a look through here, see what we've got here. Just spotted a camera on top of that box there. How much are you asking for the little camera? How much? Yeah, can I have a look? You just need to this looks quite a nice little camera. However, I turn it over and that circular ring there is all scratched up from whatever it's been put in. And I wasn't sure to start with if it's something that would clean up. So just having a look round at the general condition of it. It's just that ring round there. I just think it's too scratched up and you know if you're reselling stuff you want stuff that's, that's going to look nice you, you don't want somebody going oh that, that's horrid I took it to the Samson but it's anything that's 9 to 10 inch little camera here uh, it's a Canon that's new as well Three pound for the camera? Uh, no, I think I'll leave that one for now. <laughs> it looks like it's probably not that high on megapixels, so it's. Uh, oh, was that a digital? Um, yeah. I thought it was a digital film? camera. Is this, it film? This is a film camera. 
Is, is that film? That is film, isn't it? I think that is film. Have a look in the battery compartment, see if the battery things. It's film. Well, if you don't want it, I'll. Did you want it? It's up to you if you want it or not. No, I don't. How much are headphones there? Uh, headphones are fibre. They're new ones, but they've got the big socket, yeah? Right, yeah. Um, it is. <coughs> That's a very good set for fibre if you've got the smaller socket. A very good quality. Uh, these are JVC, but they're, they're kids, really. Right, yeah. oh, they're a bit yeah. like for ladies, What is that black thing? That's a gun holster. You put it around your leg, and then your gun goes in there. Oh, right. Oh. In that way. That goes onto the belt. Are we talking proper guns or airsoft or whatever well, people? Pe uh, people buy it for paintball in that sort of yeah. stuff. But it will take a proper gun. Are you going for the system. camera? Um, would you take two for the camera? Yeah, go on in. Just trying to get rid of some stuff. So, Jan's picked the camera up for two pounds. That's yeah, uh, interesting. I have no idea about the film <laughs> market. It's so cold, I can't grab old men. As it gets more bits out then. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And I was just thinking your headphones were on their last leg, aren't they? I didn't know if you were looking out for any. Yeah, no. These, yeah. Oh. These four fibre are very really good quality. I'll test it. I'll test it. I'll test it. Yeah. They, they sound really nice. John, did you want that to go in there, you say? No, I'll stuck it in my oh. basket now. So, a quick look to see if there's any uh, sealed boxes of toys or anything like that here. Oh, uh, there's some books. Stuff, I think books with those um, training books and uh, books for courses and stuff like that um, could be a good price if they're um, if they're an expensive book to start with and there's not a, a huge amount of people that's doing it so there's a whole um, um, glutton of of too many uh, uh, books available. I think there could be some good prices, so that's why it's worth having a look. There's a couple of cameras there, there's about three cameras. Again, looking at that, that screen's completely knackered on that one. Um, I think that's quite low megapixel. And, uh, and this last one, look at it, it's, it's not the kind of... It's nothing like the quality of the Nikon that I uh, picked up last week. I'm uh, just having a quick look around in that box just to check there's nothing that uh, is hidden away that that could be uh, ignored. Little case down here. Quick look at that. Turns out to be an empty case. Alan Walkman. Well, it's not actually a Walkman, but it's uh, you know um, personal stereo. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. He says it's brand new. Walkman. Now, if this was a couple of quid, uh, maybe. Twenty quid. Twenty quid. Twenty quid. Nah. 72 on eBay. It's what, sorry? 72 on eBay. 72 on eBay? Why aren't you putting it on eBay then? I don't have an account. Make one. You can make an account. eBay charge too much. Oh wow. Well. Sounds like you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Yeah, it wasn't for me. It might not even work. Just because you've got a box doesn't mean to say it works. Hi. 
just checking the puzzles. I couldn't see any that were still in wrappers. Um, not really seeing much there that kind of inspires me. The trouble is with the car boots, Ali, is you, you look at this stuff and um, it's all got a, well, most of it has got a value. It's just whether you want to pick it up and you want to sell it and whether you can buy it at that right price. These interested me. John? I don't know how much. I'm not great on fashion, but Ray Ban glasses like I've heard of. Could be. Depends if the lens is in the condition. Yeah. It's up to you. It's hard, isn't it? What's looking for sunglasses? Pound. Pound. I'll, I'll give it a go for a pound. You gotta give it a go for a pound, haven't you really? I mean it's not a lot to lose if it's completely wrong. Thank you. So I've spotted some some cases for the Wii um, for the Wii controllers. There's some PlayStation ones there. I, I wouldn't have a clue what's real, what's fake on the PlayStations. Um, but in this other box, there is some other stuff to do with Wii. Uh, it predominantly looks like a Wii kind of box. Um, so I'm just going to have a look through here and uh, no, got a Wii for, game there as well. Yeah, that's a controller. Now that box is actually an empty yeah. box so there isn't actually a controller in, in that box that's in my hand there. Uh, but just having a look around now, I'm not sure what to kind of pay for this, and, and quite possibly, quite possibly, I pay over the odds. Hi, how much are you looking for the um, uh, your Wii stuff? Well, the Wii stuff, well, then we'll take you. Yeah, and like there's a couple of little games. And that little bundle there? Yeah. Uh, five for that. I possibly should have taken it for the yeah, five. Yeah, I haven't got anything else. Uh, I'm just checking the rest of the box, and then he offers ten for the whole box. And I should have bartered him down to eight or seven or something, but. Um, more of those, yeah. Yeah, I'm not well, these look like a whole load of batteries. Is that is that to do with weed, you know? And if they are, uh, how much are the ba if they're rechargeable batteries for Wii con uh, controllers? How much are they worth? Yeah. Are second-hand yeah. batteries yeah. worth anything? Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm hoping with, as well. I'll go for tenner. with that for a tenner. There's probably not a lot to make, Excellent. but I'm hoping at least I can get my tenner back. I say I should have probably gone for s 
seven quid, eight quid. So I'm just having a quick look to see if there's a USB A to B cable uh, which I need for the um, Samsung Carbon 49 keyboard. Um, so I just thought I'd have a quick rubbish just to see if I could see anything like that in there. Couldn't work out what that was, whether it was cables for something, so... So the camera is about... I'm about to run out of battery on the camera, so... Um, Hope you've enjoyed this uh, look round, and uh, at the this is the Faygate uh, car boot sale on uh, um, uh, the first of May, two thousand and twenty-one. Uh, and if you haven't um, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, uh, and you've got this far in the film, please consider subscribing. There'll be some more um, uh, films coming. There's also going to be a show and tell film which we're going to do. That's that's an old GoPro in a box. So let's just have a quick look at that. Yep. But yeah, if you haven't uh, considered, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider yeah. subscribing. Uh, Drop a I'm comment down if there's any, anything that you've seen that that you think we've missed as we've gone around that we really should have got. Um, that'd be really interesting to see. So from both myself, uh, uh, Neil and my wife Jan, um, hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, we will catch you guys on the next film.